I got lips. I didn't pass out. Jeremy fully passed out. <laughs> Not it. There's literally, is this dust? I'm dead. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Um, we are headed en route right now to uh, West Hollywood Beverly Hills area to go get some fake shit injected in our faces. This is 30 and I cannot wait. Um, we're going to do a Botox touch up. It's been like four or five months. Um, I feel like based on my face, I only have to go like three times a year, maybe four times a year, which has been really nice, but it is time. And then I also am going to do a lip filler touch up. It's been almost two years since I've gotten lip filler at all. And, um, this is a new nurse practitioner doctor injector that I've never gotten lip filler with. So this will be my third different person doing this and so I'm excited. I feel like my first time ever doing it, I didn't love my results. My second time ever doing it with Dr. Sunder when I did the Jupiter and Brand deal was my favorite time and then I'm excited two years later because I feel like it's probably all entirely dissolved at this point um, to do a little touch up. And so that's the tea. That's what the plan is today. I essentially just want to add some filler to my top lip. I feel like my top and bottom lip are like just a little uneven and I'm excited to just get a little bit at the last place that I got uh, lip injections. She used this uh, facial vibrating sculptor thingy. Is it gua sha? It could be used for gua sha, yes, very close, very okay. close. And um, it was like the best sensation distractor when you're getting a needle jammed into the meatiest parts of your lips. And so I don't know <laughs> if parts that's of what it is. It literally feels like, I just remember like when I got the injection right into like the middle of the bottom lip, it just felt like the meatiest part and oh, <laughs> it hurted. So this was like the best like sensation distractor. I bought one on Amazon a few days ago for $12 just in case this isn't part of her technique because I found it so wildly helpful. But so you're gonna bring that with you and stick yourself in the face with it while they do it? Yes. That's not gonna be distracting. Yes. No, no, you put it, you put it like on like your jawbone so it kind of like, so it kind of just like, Hey, look over here. Redirects the sensation. Right. I mean, maybe she won't let me use it, but it was so helpful. It was literally so helpful. Even for like forehead Botox, forehead Botox doesn't hurt at all, but like the anticipation of the needle going into your skin, for some reason for me, I'm always like, Hah! and so I think if I had like a, a distraction sensation happening somewhere else, I think it would be helpful for forehead Botox as well. I didn't plan this very well. We're recording a podcast tonight, so I might be a little swollen. That's okay though. That's you know, okay. We'll just both look like busted Barbie and Ken dolls. Barbie, okay, you're relaxed. You're just getting regular Botox in the forehead. And maybe a little crow's eye, a little crow's eye touch up? I don't have crow's eyes. Right, because of Botox. And I'm mean, crow's feet. We actually do um, Disport, I think, uh, versus Botox. Crow's feet, right, you're right, sorry. Crow's feet at your eyes, not crow's eyes. Well, we have a juvenile man, I think, today in the pod, so you can just go ahead and just chill the fuck out on whatever else you just said. No, 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 disport in our foreheads. Oh, okay. You can't put Jupiter in your forehead. Well, maybe you can't put Jupiter in your forehead, but that that's not, that's, we're sure. not totally interested in this. I put it everywhere if I could. So, that is the plan for today. I and I then, I, on me. I want to reorganize the bathroom. Okay. And then also go through and purge some of my closet because it is that time again. Lips, who dis? <laughs> now 
was just, I could see myself it's in the mirror. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my hair is greasy, my forehead's bleeding. Wow. <laughs> well, I got lips. I got lips. I didn't pass out. Jeremy fully passed out. <laughs> I didn't pass out. My face is still frozen, and obviously the filler is so new, and I'm so scared to move my lips at all, and that's I'm gonna talk like a crazy frozen just person. The uh, Paul Smith looks. Yeah, we got the Paul Smith wall. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Work. In case anyone was wondering, I didn't pass out. Jeremy went down. Jeremy went down. Jeremy went down hard, eyes rolling to the back of his head, the cold sweats. It was very but cute. We put a juice box in his mouth. I do love that. And when, it all worked out really well. I just love that when I start to pass out, you then get really nervous and then I have to come back. No, quickly. no, I was fine. Are you kidding me? I was, I had an ice pack on your neck. I was holding the fan on your face. It's like, okay, and now I take a sip of juice. No, you did great. I treat like a giant baby. Yeah, no. Uh, I... Needles, needles, like, I don't think that I could, actually, I might be able to inject someone with a needle. I really think that I, I think maybe could. I think you're a sick fuck. I think you're good. A sick fuck. <laughs> yeah, I think you're a sick fuck that could, that could, that could get a break. You could, you could that hurt could, my skins. I could poke a skin. Yeah. I that. love popping a pimple, yeah, so maybe see, I could. See, that's the shit that like, yeah. <laughs> my face is still so frozen. This my, These look so good though. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So obviously they're about 20% more swollen than they will be once they like kind of settle. And what I learned today, so the very first time that I ever got filler, I had a weird gap. Um, kind of like on one side specifically and I just thought that the filler had distributed unevenly But what I learned today is that it's actually just that I have a muscle in my chin That is I guess like just kind of going hulk and very strong and pulling my bottom lip down in a weird way In the medical community they call it going hulk Going hulk scientifically yeah. Yeah. speaking going hulk yeah. And, yeah. and so it's not that my lips are Bannister are asymmetrical, it's that I have a Hulk muscle, a B, a, fuck, I can't remember the name of the muscle, but yeah, it's one super specific muscle that's pulling my lip down in one super specific spot, like right here, so we put a drop of Botox in it to stop doing that, which is amazing, because I thought that I just got, like, I, I had to, to, to fill that little gap, but it's my chin, going Hulk, and drop so, of Botox. drop of the Botox is gonna fix that. A dab will do you. A little dab of, of Botox. Anyways, um, let's go get some Starbucks. Okay, it is special time to organize. Our kitchen right now is in a state of disarray. Um, we just got a new set of pots and pans sent by Caraway. I'm gonna swap out because there's just no world. I do much more cooking now than I used to, but there's just no world where I need so many duplicates. So I wanna do a big sweep and donate some of the ones we don't use. And then I also just got um, this organizer for this drawer here for plastic baggies and saran. Um, I'm short one uh, little row here for another roll of something, um, but baggies unlock, got two of these, and then I still have space for one of the extra boxes. Um, we got this one to replace this one because it was so, so, so close to fitting. This one does have like the three slots for the different rolls, um, but it was so close to fitting, but did not. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna just, do a hopefully super, um, I just, I'm literally so overwhelmed with where to start. I'm gonna start by unloading the dishwasher, so we'll do a little time lapse, and hopefully this ends up being quite satisfying because it's just chaos, like mass chaos. D, I feel the same way. Change of plans. We're gonna swap to keep just the baggy portion of this and then keep all three of these with their little boxes because it's actually the Ziploc bags that are like too high for this drawer that are the main issue. So I think that's gonna be the solution. Wow, what a flop. 
Okay, total flop. Jeremy is gonna return his. I am going to return mine. Um, I don't like this one at all. It's like really difficult to not only refill it, but actually remove the baggies out to begin with. So I've got one more coming. Thank God for returns. I also feel okay about doing Amazon returns because Jeremy literally orders so many open box items on Amazon. It's crazy. He literally fuels the secondhand recycling program on Amazon, I swear to God. Okay, I feel so good about this. Oh, my. literally, I've just been like throwing shit into this cupboard and slamming the doors, hoping it just like stays where it is. Oh, this is so nice. We're also just gonna order one of those like bottom shelf thingies where like this whole layer can just roll out. So you have access to lids. Cause, like getting a lid out of the very back makes me, like it's violent. It actually gets violent. So anyways, feel so good about that. And then I've got a massive box here of stuff for donation and oh, God, I love cleansing. Hate doing it. Like really, really just like I mean, love, hate, you know what? No, no, love, hate, love, hate relationship with the purging. Hello, it is the next day and I refuse to move on until this, this stupid Ziploc baggie segment is finished. I just got the new one, less a 24, less than 24, I already, this would have been like, this would have showed up in like 16 hours. Love, Amazon Prime. Um, okay, the new one arrived, looks like this and this thing slides out so the little areas to get a plastic baggie. Your hand fits. This is what 30 is. This is what 30 is. I just wanna be very clear, I am not 30 yet, I am 29, but I am going on 30 and this is what excites me. Also, this is day two of the lips. I'm so happy with them. They are the perfect amount of fullness and um, my mom didn't even notice it on FaceTime and so that means that they are natural and she didn't call me Mrs. Puff or anything. Um, I've got a tiny bit of bruising over on this side but it is so minor and I'm stoked because we're recording a podcast tonight. But I wanted to finish this freaking plastic bag segment so I could put all of these stupid mega packs away and then I also have um, a few organizational things that I need to do in uh, my bedroom near the vanity area. We just installed a, or like got built a second doggy crate for Diggy that matches the moose crate that Mr. Kate and Joey built us. So I'll show you that when we go upstairs. I lost access to a bunch of drawers. And so I've got an explosion of heat tools and makeup products. So we've got to organize that and we are onwards with our purging and organizing of my life. I swear that this has got to be the most dramatic plastic baggy organization segment to ever exist. Okay. You know what, it's not even perfect, but the main issue to problem solve is that when you buy these in bulk, the boxes are giant, and so we did it. It's not cute by any means, and it does not meet the goal and the expectations that I originally set, but it closes and that's all that matters. Oh, it's not good, it's not good, it's not good at all. Um, okay, so here is the vanity um, and I've got a lot of my extra makeup just in these drawers here, but I originally had other drawers right here, but we just got this new um, Diggy crate. We just got this one custom built to match the other crate on the other side uh, to match mousses. And Diggy hasn't spent a night in here yet, uh, but I have to first organize everything because like my hot tools are up here and it's just like absolute chaos. So I originally had uh, drawers here and then when we had the builders come and add uh, the crate, 
all my shit kind of just got stuffed up here and I never really did anything with it. So I definitely have a bunch of stuff that I for sure have to purge um, and just donate and check expiration dates. But then I also got, I think this bin is probably going to be the best solution to just put all of my hot tools in for when I'm not using them. So I've got like a few different curling irons that have different barrel sizes, like stuff that I just don't use every day but kind of want clothes or like my travel straightener. So anyways, this is I think gonna be the solution so that I can kind of just toss them in but also huh, like not, okay, well that's gonna go here but it's just too heavy. And then I also got this little guy here. Not sure for what, but I just know that I was supposed to get black things. So I feel like that matches the best. So black and gray. And then I also got this little spinning guy too to do um, just a little more organization. So I use um, like right here, this is my current makeup solution <laughs> storage for like my bronzer, blush, highlighter, and setting powder. So I was like, okay, well, like I literally do them in a specific order. So I might as well get something like this. So anyways, this has been just like, I feel not at peace with anything when I'm over here and it is not a relaxing experience whatsoever getting ready and I want to change that because this is just, it's just chaos. It's not good. It's just really not good. but it is substantially better. I'm also realizing that just because it's organized, it doesn't mean it's necessarily convenient and convenient doesn't always mean the most aesthetically pleasing. So like there's still a lot of kind of like shit happening here, but honestly, I, this is I think what's gonna work best because like this actually did work out really, really well um, in terms of like just the different steps of my makeup. I put the makeup palette here. Um, this is like raising this mirror up so it's a better height for me. And then I use this one when I do my hair to see the back of my head. And then this like feels like overkill, but I figured that I had this so I might as well use it So I've got it separated to brushes which desperately need to clean and I am so aware um, Eyeliners brow and then just like random tools and then yes, these are 100% um, hard-boiled egg holders to hold my beauty blender genuinely Game changing, absolutely game changing. Q-tips and then the hair stuff over here. I realized that I also needed one bin that was not see-through because I feel like you do kind of just need like a junk drawer. So there's definitely just like some claw clips tossed into there and some um, of those Velcro roller thingies. Extra brushes, which also desperately need to clean. Some travel sizes. I downsized a lot of the eyeliners and stuff that were expired. All of my different brushes. And then this is a combination of face and hair products. Um, and then some of the other attachments for the Dyson, the Dyson, which is somewhere in here. And then this worked out really well. What I do want to get though is that this came with a second size. It was a little bit smaller. So I'm almost thinking of swapping all of the makeup travel bags into this bin, but the smaller version. So I can just do like bin, bin, and then not have that there. Cause I feel like this looks kind of cluttered and I would love for this shelf to stay kind of decor-esque. Also the back of my hand right now is just all, whoa, that one eyeliner is so glossy. Wow, also the first Benefit brow product um, started with red pigment coming out and I was like, am I slicing my hand? Anyways, it um, it just had to be shaken. So we're good, but I wanna see if I can still get the second gray little knit bin that I got from Home Goods today in a smaller size and then we'll do a swap for this to this and I think we're done, honestly pretty solid that most of my stuff that came from a ton of drawers here that were just like junk drawers uh fit kind of okay organized 
onto the top of the vanity. Um, and then we also have uh, someone coming in the next couple days to drill a hole in the back of this so that I don't have to have cords just like flopping up over here, which I think will make such a big difference in being able to like keep shit tidy. This luckily, um, no, well actually I guess to charge it, I need to plug it in, but the, I ripped the cord out in amidst all of this. Um, okay, quite a success. I'm feeling good. Like I feel, my being feels a little lighter, I will say. Hello, it is like a week later, I think, from the last organization segment that I did in this vlog. And I've got one more thing. I was waiting for something to arrive on Amazon. And TBD, if we're actually going to like it, but it's this shoe organizer system. I just feel like no one's really created something that works well in terms of like storing shoes in a not awkward way. But like, here's the gist of it that you can see. It's kind of ugly and bulky and plasticky. The set that I got are entirely white and there are 20. They were also kind of a bitch to build, like a lot of just brute force where I thought that I was breaking them, but this is what it looks like. So this is it at its highest height. Um, and I've got some platforms, some like chunky platform. Oh my God, my arm is dying right now. I need to put this down on something. I've got some chunky platforms that I don't know are like, that might be too tall for these, but I want to tackle my shoe closet and see if I like it. Cause right now I'm just like, I'm just spilling out of the closet, which means that it's also time for a bit of a purge. Um, and also I want to start this vlog over here or start this segment over here. Cause the lighting is absolute ass in my closet. So I wanted to give you a heads up and prepare you for that. Um, but I've got 20 of these, so I'm hoping that it'll help organize shoes in just like a better way. And this big chunky white portion goes against the shelf at the back. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be so like bulky plasticky looking since this is kind of just what you'll see with a shoe on both layers of it. So I don't know. We'll see how we feel about it. Um, this, I just feel like there's gotta be more options. I really did scour Amazon and Container Store and so many different organizational websites to see what kind of options there are for storing shoes. The top side, like the top layer where a shoe will have to like kind of be slanted and obviously not on a flat surface has these little um, nubbies on it. So I'm hoping that's gonna be enough traction for it to kind of grab and not slip. Um, here's what it looks like. Okay, so we'll see if that's gonna be enough. Okay, this might be okay. This is probably one of the chunkiest like uh, platform heels that I have. And I think, it's more of a shelf situation now to see if it'll, oh, I probably needed two hands for this. Okay, that actually might work. Cause like right now for like, the, look at these stilettos, like this is just not it. This is not it. There's literally, is this dust? I'm dead. <laughs> we see how much those get worn. Oh my God. Uh, but okay, this is just, it's not good. It's not good. I am not proud of this and it needs so much help. So, so much help. Um, I'm also very quickly realizing that 20 will definitely not be enough. So we'll see how this goes. Inspiration to purge and donate. Okay, couple thoughts. Uh, immediately hated it. Like genuinely right off that was like, fuck, I can't believe I just built 20 of these and I have to unbuild all of them to send them back. But now, I obviously wish they weren't white, but I think that when, like, it is quite nice to be like, I know exactly what shoe this is, and now the whole pile doesn't come toppling down the moment that I take this out of its little space. Um, I do think it's maybe not the most space efficient, um, because I can only fit five across, and then I would say I can probably fit, I mean, there's, I think, seven shoes here in stilettos. So, I mean, it's encouraging me to downsize in a way that I probably need to. Um, and I think that I will be happy once I have done this to all of these. And there's really no reason why, okay, so let's see, so five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I don't need more than 35 pairs of high heels and stilettos. I really don't. Here's my issue is that sometimes I'll do a random photo shoot and I'm like, oh, I need red stilettos. Wish I had kept those stupid red stilettos from another photo shoot. And 
then I have to order them on Amazon again and have a new pair. So anyways, I'm, I'm trying to be sensible to the tune of what will I realistically maybe need for future shoots, but um, I, it's growing on me. It really is. simply the color coordination of this that makes this so satisfying um but i also realized that space wise it makes so much more sense if like the chunky heel is here and then you can also see the front of the shoe versus having like two backs facing out i mean this looks really cute because there's giant bows in the backs of these shoes but like this looks less cute because then you've got all this weird extra space here but at least you can see the front of the shoe so i don't know i switched around half of them i i can't decide where i'm gonna land on this um because i feel like i have a pretty good handle in terms of knowing what shoes i have i'm never like oh shit, i forgot that i had this but i don't know i don't know it is looking good and i am for sure going to order some more of these wow done i feel good i'm actually gonna leave that top row of stilettos just like they are done feel good feel good feel good color coordinated wow and then you know what i just like like i'm not gonna put my freaking slippers on one of these little razors things like that's just stupid like let me just have one shit show of a row the trash can goes here anyways we're gonna hide it and then i've got a few other like little random things here um that i think i don't even think i need to order anymore i think this is like I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's 20 of them. Okay, success. I like it. I really thought this was gonna be a flop of a project, but here we are. Oh my God, look what just showed up. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I am fully still on board with my creamy hyperfixation. I haven't been vlogging it as much. We slowed down a little bit, but I just want you to know that the uh, the real life creamy consumption is still going strong. And these are the new flavors that I got. Oh, birthday cake, cookie dough, bitch. I literally turned the camera on to end the vlog and Moose, of course, just as if on cue, every time, every single time. Oh, more? The way that he's already been drinking for like two minutes before I started this clip too, Jesus. Okay, well, I guess we'll just uh, just truck right on through. Um, I, I can't focus, I can't focus. I'm so glad that you have properly hydrated. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I am so excited. I've got the next wedding dress shopping appointment on Thursday. I'm strategically trying to keep them kind of close together so that I have it fresh in my mind um, with like enough time to go home and sleep on it and see how I feel about the dresses that I've tried on and like make some decisions. I've got two appointments that are gonna join into one vlog, which will go up um, the vlog after this one because I went already last Thursday, not the vlog that's already up. Okay, so that's confusing. Okay, so I've got one wedding dress shopping appointment vlog that's already up, and then I had an appointment last week that I vlogged, and I'm gonna join that footage up with my next appointment that's coming up in a few days on Thursday uh, for my third appointment, second vlog. Did that math math? I think it did. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, hopefully it's inspirational um, in getting anything organized in your home that may need a little bit of TLC. Uh, I feel like I have just, just, there's just still so much more. I was hoping that this vlog would actually get me to like kick my ass in gear to get things more organized, which it has, but I kind of just feel like I'm only halfway there. So I think there'll probably be another organizational vlog coming soon. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in the next one for another round of wedding dress appointments. Bye.